Welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. Let's explore the creepy basement that we've just gotten into. Where is that radio? Inside of it? Did that break off, or is that what the key is supposed to look like? Because it doesn't seem to have an en end. But there's a lot of different types of keys. Chiller room. The key to the pantry. Where's. Is the pantry down here, I guess? It must be. Because we didn't see it upstairs, I don't think. Munchies. I can use something on the munchies. What? Basil. It's food. Carrots. Okay, I have no idea what to do with that. <laughs> There's candles in the uh, matchsticks there too, but I can't use them. Look at that note over there either. Which is weird because it looks important. It's even got a number written down there. 4932. Now, if you can't look at it, I guess it probably doesn't matter. I guess this really is it for now. I'm sure we'll be going down there later. Probably once we get the key to the chiller. Glad I looked at the walkthrough, because guess what we are supposed to do? Apparently, we're supposed to place Ollie's picture here. Why? And the key. Why? Is this how Ollie died? Finally, the kitchen. I've heard it mentioned so many times. Kitchen, it would have once have cooked for not only the Harwood family, but also the entire staff. Three, and sometimes four times a day. It would have been alive with activity, morning, noon, and night. Later, when converted to Shangri-La, the old kitchen was still true to its original use, feeding those who dwelt within Harwood House. Audio phenomena has been heard emitting from the old telephone, even though it is not connected to an outside line. Oh, that's where the radio is coming from, huh? Yeah. Elizabeth Prem. Sinister games slash girls toilets. The girls have invented a childish game. They're daring each other to stay in the third toilet cubicle for as long as possible with the light off. 
Louise was scared half to death, refusing to eat or drink for hours. Is this really the result of... Over... What does that say? Over... Fertile? Over fertile imagination? They say they hear voices. Whispered, horrible voices from the other side of the wall. I too have heard the noises. Like something trapped, trying to get out. I think we're going to be going into the girl's toilet. Expecting that phone to ring any moment. Nine one one didn't work. Damn. I don't know if nine one one actually does work in the UK. Uh, like in Finland, it's actually one one two is the emergency number. However, I've also heard that if you dial nine one one in places where that's not the usual number that there's like safety mechanisms in place that redirects you to the correct number. Fascinating factoid, I'm sure. Yeah. Thirty zero six three zero zero six. <laughs> I can't read that. We're gonna be cooking, aren't we? We just got paprika and then we already have onions and carrots and basil. We're gonna be prepping a meal. Yeah, we're gonna cook it right here. Well, this sounds like fun. Wonder what we're supposed to make. What are the ghosts hungry for? Pancakes? Souffle? Beef stewed in gravy? Saturday Salad Club. Shangri-La Cafe menu. Chips and egg, beans and chip, quiche and salad, goulash with rice, ham sandwich with salad, pudding, something, something. I can't read that either. I don't know. Louise refuses to consume the new... Modern menu, still preferring a traditional meal of meat and two veg. Okay, I can kind of read it. Meat and two veg. This is probably a hint of what I need to cook. As a treat, we should make an effort to cook something from the... From her homeland? I have very few notes regarding the origin of the something... The girl we call Louise. But she's always shown an interest in the landscape painting that hangs in the hall. Huh. Perhaps that may be of help. Landscape painting that hangs in the hall. That's going to give me a hint on what to cook? Okay. They 
artists of Europe on a budget. Hmm. So I need to figure out which one of these matches the painting in the hallway. Okay. Well, I feel like it's probably this. Because it's a dock setting and we've seen that in a lot of paintings. But I'm not totally sure, so we should definitely go check. Ah, this is where we're going to cook in. We needed a cooking vessel. Well, that's what the kids call it, right? A cooking vessel? Oh, we can go through this into the rest of it? Yes. I'm Louisa. What? I didn't hear anything, but apparently something's talking. Hungry. I'm gonna make you something, don't worry. Canteen. The children of Shangri-La would consume state meals here three times a day. Spag bol, or mac and cheese, appear to have been popular. Typical of state schools and care homes of the time, the space is communal, barren, and functional. <laughs> Oh, you're Louisa. Or Louise. Or... Yeah, all right, that's where... That's right, put the food. Food for my country. Utility corridor, the stripped and utilitarian space, providing access to the kitchen and canteen. A small wooden staircase allowed access to the upper floor, but would have originally been used by the servants of Harwood House. Servants would have come and gone many times daily, as with the children of the Shangri-La Children's Home. Do the old wooden stairs still creak with their footsteps? <laughs> Hopefully we can open up a shortcut to go up into the house so we don't have to go out the window. Actually, let's... Oh god, that's the pink door. Oh, I'm terrified of that. Uh, but yeah, let's try to go here first, see if we can go up. Uh, I can't do anything. Never mind.
Louisa has the only key. The radio turned back on on its own. I'm surprised the phone hasn't rang yet. So, hallway picture. Landscape hallway picture. Would that be these? Uh, not that. That's not a landscape. Hmm. Probably this. I'm guessing that down there signifies the also like helps identify the country, but I don't know what that is. Anyway, um Ah, oh, there's like waterfalls in the background. I think there was one in the book that had a waterfall. Yeah, that's it. Swiss stew. Add all ingredients to the beef. So beef first. So stewed beef and then Mushrooms, onions, mixed herbs. Uh, hold on. Do we have mushrooms? I don't think we do. Mixed herbs, pot, beef, beans, paprika. Carrots, onions, basil. No, we're missing mushrooms. Peeked at the walkthrough, and again, I'm very glad I did. The mushrooms grow in only one place. Somewhere out here, um, I think it's, I think I remember seeing mushrooms near the gravestones. Yes. I just couldn't pick them up before because we didn't need them. Like, I'm supposed to remember that. That there's mushrooms there. Like, I put them out of my mind because I saw them, but we couldn't do anything with them. So I just purged them from my memory. Okay, stewed beef and then mushrooms, onions, herbs. Do I, like, turn this thing on, or...? Can't seem to. Beef. Oh. Uh, ah. Oh. Okay, it just sounds like it's cooking, so I guess we don't have to deal with that. Herbs, mushrooms, and onions. Uh, do we, like, how do we, ah, okay. Hey, that shows beans in it. I didn't put beans in it. The image lies. Don't worry, Louisa. All right, we can't go that way. Oh, the pink door is the girl's bathroom. Where it's apparently exceptionally close to the source. I 
guess we're going into the pink door next. God, let's save. I'm guessing we're going to need to recreate what the paper said. It was back in the kitchen. I think it said go into the third stall and turn the lights off. <sighs> well, lights are off. I saved a picture of this from a long time ago in my notes. <gasps> ah! That's the mold we need for melting the coin and the, all the gold and stuff down. I don't know why we needed the other materials, but at least the coins I understood. And it looks like we need that to get in here. So I don't think we have to wait here with the lights out. It's just already been broken through. You can see how much that looks different from everything else in here. This is a very different old, old part of the house. I think this is the part that the mansion was built to cover up. Now I know the truth. She was just a figment. A false memory. One of many that linger in the house. I've crafted a new sigil. The door shall open. The evil must stop now before it consumes the others. It is my... What does that say? Oh, roll. It's my role to protect the young people under this roof. We should have listened. I should have focused and not be led astray. Perhaps it's not too late. I have the sigil, the symbol, and will open the tunnel and see what lies beyond. I fear the darkness will stop me before I can end this. Thomas. And it did stop them. You again? You don't understand. You're only doing what it wants. What should I do? Don't read the words. Not the way they did. Do it backwards. The only way to stop the spread. When did this start? There were others before Howard, my pair. Oh yes, the Romans. And then before them. There were the stonecutters. They found it. They used it. And then they hid it away. Behind traps and trials. You'll have to get past them if you want to succeed. What is the Dark Fall? It knows your ear. It knows what you're planning. Don't do what it wants. It's using you. I'm not sure whether I should read it forwards or backwards. They said backwards, but should I trust them? What has told me to read it forwards? Wasn't it just the matron talking to me, telling me to do that? Do I trust the caretaker more than the matron? I, I don't know. Somebody told us the caretaker knows more than they let on, that we should ask them. I don't know. I guess backwards, probably.
god. <laughs> Did it close behind me? It did, but we can go back. We're not trapped here. Oh. That's for shackling up people to the wall. We saw strange orbs with patterns all on them and around them somewhere. Gotta keep an eye out for those, because they're kind of colored pretty similar to what all the stone around it's colored. Would the night vision camera help here at all? Kinda? Eh, it's a bit distracting. I prefer this. or whatever. Oh my god. I can't go in there even if I wanted to. Looks like there's something blocking the way. Isn't that a lit candle? Why doesn't it produce any light? Are these colored places where I use the balls? No. Huh. Do I need to find... Is it six? Yeah, there's six colored windows. And the ball doesn't go in it. Desperate search for Jericho 5. Missing from the cloisters of Oxford since Solstice. Press gang, says Hornsby. All bright scholars of note. Public occurrence, both foreign and domestic. Summoning the Darkfall. First past the trials. Air the harmony of the spheres, to hear and repeat that which has been heard before in ancient times. Fire. An eternal flame can be summoned from within the circle of five stones. The order is important. Choose the next stone wisely, after triggering the first. Success will summon the flame required for the archive. Earth. The room of decay and shattered bones. Darkness leads the way. Collect what is needed and escape. The archive room revealed by blue flame. The history of an ancient people. 
The eternal flame is beautiful, the essence of ancient power, the fire of the Celts. It is the light that reveals the story of that long forgotten race. Stones like a giant open palm, waiting to crush the false and foolhardy. Understand the past and the chamber will open. This place is big. <laughs> Where are we? Are, are we in the archives right now? There is a cavern, a seemingly bottomless chasm, where the most extraordinary forces can be manipulated using earth energy and sound. Mastering the process is key to opening the Darkfall Chamber. I will seek the advice of another, a fellow scholar, if he wishes to join us. The Wolfenden Petrospheres. Different shapes, different patterns. How to choose the matching pedestal. Control over matter through sound and symbol. Some form of ancient engineering. The power of celestial bodies focused here on the Darkfall in the pit. Staff activates the crossing stones. The trials and puzzles are designed to prove the worthy. All have lodgings at Jericho. No witnesses, no suspicion. A dark deed, a worthy payment, a dark promise. The future is ours. So they were responsible for the Jericho Five. Needed souls to feed the Darkfall. Oh no, this is the Room of Decay and... The one where I have to escape from if I go in too far. That could help. The Wand of Blue Light. That's the cell on the map there. So yeah, we were in the archives and this is the Skull and Bones Dark Bodily Remains. it up make that sound oh that was this closing oh no Stepping all the way into that room just yet, no thanks. This will be... Uh, it says it's blocked. Well, partially blocked. Phases of the moon. Not comfortable just smacking the stones and seeing what happens, given how menacing this place is.
that's back down here. Where is Mama? I don't know, sorry child. I do feel like placing these in the window though. Got a bunch of them. So we're missing two. Now, what did it say about the staff? This. Staff activates the crossing stones. I don't think we've encountered that yet. And what did it say about the creepy room? The room the room of decay and shattered bones. Darkness leads the way. Collect what is needed and escape. Maybe I should just do that. Darkness leads the way, so it sounds like I should have my light off, perhaps, or maybe night vision on. Is that it? That's it? Maybe if I had my light on going in there, something bad would have happened? this way. So I think the blue torch goes here. No, we just gotta jump onto him. Great. So what is this on the map? Three urns. I think. That's which orb goes on which thing. Do I have five orbs? Nope. I have four. Of course. Does what it show match the sim like the design on it, or do I need some other source of information? That sort of looks like that one. This one's got like circles. That might be that one. Well, this one also has circles. Hmm. I think that might be the one all the way on the left, though. Uh. I don't know about that one.
Oh, unless... Can I just take that one? I maybe shouldn't have done that while I was standing on these. The sounds... Do these make a sound when I place something in them? Maybe I need to match up the sound I'm hearing. Uh. Maybe not? Yeah, I don't know how that relates and I don't have all the balls anyway, so I don't think it matters. Looked at the walkthrough again. Uh, yeah, it just basically says find all the balls all over the place. So I just need to look again and try to find the fifth ball. And also, apparently the solution to this moon puzzle is just to select them in the order of the phases of the moon. some sort of spirit energy. Ah, there's the final one. Okay, now let's try to figure this out. Okay. This one definitely goes there. For sure. Hmm. This one with multiple concentric rings probably goes there. This one that looks like a baked loaf of bread must go there. Uh, this one maybe goes there? And so that would imply this one goes here. How would I know if I got it correct? Guess it's not correct. Okay, which ones are definitely right? This one and this one are definitely right. Oh wait. Oh no, they are right. Because now I can't take them down. They just make a noise. So I need to repeat what it's saying. Saying. <laughs> I need to repeat the noises it's making. I 
can still play them if I want. <laughs> oh, I had to go through the tunnels like four full times and I finally found the sixth brazier, brazier, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that. Like, brazier makes it sound like a bra? Apparently, we're supposed to light them. And then they need to be pressed in a certain order. That, I don't know exactly what the order is, though. A ring. Triangle? I mean, a ring could be one, triangle could be the number three. Five, two, four, wait, isn't that four? Could be just the number eight. That'd be kind of weird though, because there aren't eight of them, there's only six. Is it not the number of lines? Is it something else? It's gotta be the number of lines. It's three. One, three. Five. One, three, five, two. I should write this down. Hmm. Maybe when it intersects with something, it becomes a new line. So maybe this is six, right? Like, if you cut it in half, then there's three lines on the top half, and then three lines on the bottom half for six in total. So that'd mean yellow is six. So then green is... The four. That just leaves number five being blue. Yep. Five, blue. Okay. So it should be purple, red, orange, green, blue, yellow. I think. Purple, red, orange, green, blue, yellow. This, I think, is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, I think we're going to finish the game. <laughs>